Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into Chris Dickerson's controversial win at the 1982 Mr. Olympia. This event shook the bodybuilding world for many reasons, and we're going to unpack it all. Hit like, and let's get started. Chris Dickerson was born in Montgomery, Alabama in 1939 at a time when the American South was mired in racial segregation and inequality. From an early age, Dickerson was enamored with athletics, showing an inclination towards physical fitness and a dedication to pushing his limits. His family moved to Indiana, where he was exposed to a more diverse and open society that nurtured his talents. Influenced by athletes like John Davis, the Olympic weightlifting champion, and Bill Pearl, a bodybuilding icon, Dickerson started to envision a future in athletics. His interest in classical arts, particularly ballet and music, also had a profound impact on his aesthetics and approach to bodybuilding, emphasizing not just mass, but also symmetry and presentation. While attending college, Dickerson realized that his passion lay in the world of bodybuilding. He started training seriously in the late 1950s. It wasn't long before he competed in local and regional events. Dickerson's decision to move to New York in the early 1960s exposed him to a burgeoning bodybuilding scene, a move that significantly accelerated his career. Training at iconic gyms and rubbing shoulders with established bodybuilders helped him refine his techniques. He honed his physique, focusing on a balanced approach that combined muscle mass, symmetry, and posing artistry. Unlike many of his contemporaries who concentrated solely on size, Dickerson's balanced approach set him apart. Dickerson's training regimen was a meticulously planned endeavor. Typically, his workout routine was a six-day-a-week commitment, with different days dedicated to different muscle groups. Heavy compound movements like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses were interspersed with isolation exercises aimed at sculpting his physique. His diet was equally rigorous. High-protein meals were interspersed with complex carbohydrates and healthy fats, carefully timed around his workouts for optimum muscle recovery and growth. Supplements like protein powders and amino acids were also a regular part of his nutritional plan. Preparation for a competition was even more demanding. The few months leading up to any major event saw him doubling down on his efforts, focusing on both muscle definition and overall presentation. His background in the performing arts gave him an edge in the posing rounds, an aspect that often gets overlooked but is crucial for high scores in bodybuilding competitions. By the time the 1982 Mr. Olympia competition was on the horizon, Chris Dickerson was no stranger to accolades. He had won numerous titles in the 1970s, including Mr. America, Mr. Universe, and Mr. World, making him one of the most decorated competitors in the field. In 1980 and 1981, he placed highly at the Mr. Olympia competitions, but fell just short of the ultimate prize. These achievements were not just a testament to his incredible physique, but also his determination to break barriers. As an openly gay man and one of the very few African-American competitors at the time, Dickerson's successes were revolutionary in a sport that was yet to fully embrace diversity. The 1982 Mr. Olympia competition was not short of stellar contenders, making it one of the most eagerly awaited events in bodybuilding for the year. Besides Chris Dickerson, there were several other competitors with eyes set on the title. As the 1982 Mr. Olympia competition drew closer, speculations and predictions were rife. Frank Zane, having lost the title in 1980 and having not competed in 1981, was looking for a comeback and was considered by many as the favorite. Tom Platts, with his legendarily developed lower body, was considered a strong contender but faced scrutiny for his less impressive upper body. Chris Dickerson, despite his previous high placements, was often viewed as the underdog due to his age. However, his well-rounded physique and posing abilities had their own set of loyal supporters who believed that 1982 could be his year. The 1982 Mr. Olympia was held at the Wembley Conference Center in London, marking one of the instances where the event had been taken outside the United States. The media coverage leading up to the event was extensive, with magazines like Muscle and Fitness and Flex dedicating multiple features and interviews focusing on the top contenders. Television stations also started to show interest, airing interviews and segments highlighting the competitors and the significance of the event. The tension was palpable. Every posing routine, every flex, every bead of sweat would be under scrutiny, and the atmosphere was electric. Tickets were sold out months in advance, and fans from around the world flew in to witness what was being billed as one of the most competitive lineups in Mr. Olympia history. 
message boards, radio talk shows, and gym conversations were all focused on one thing, who would take home the coveted Sandow Trophy. With this atmosphere of palpable anticipation, the stage was set for an unforgettable showdown. It was not just a contest of muscle and aesthetics, but also one of legacy, sportsmanship, and breaking new ground in the world of bodybuilding. And as history would later show, the 1982 Mr. Olympia did not disappoint, giving fans and critics alike much to discuss, debate, and even question for years to come. Dickerson's performance was, in one word, captivating. He presented a physique that was both muscular and aesthetic. His posing was impeccable, drawing the audience in with every move. While he might not have had the raw size of Viator or the razor-sharp definition of Zane, Dickerson's presentation was a holistic package, showcasing a harmonious blend of size, symmetry, definition, and stage presence. His final pose, the classic victory pose with arms raised and lats spread, elicited roars from the crowd, reflecting the impact of his performance. The announcement of Chris Dickerson as the winner of the 1982 Mr. Olympia was met with a mixture of shock, elation, and debate. The atmosphere was electric, with some in the audience erupting into cheers, while others sat in stunned silence. The audience, comprised largely of bodybuilding fans who had their own favorites, displayed a varied reaction. While Dickerson had his own legion of supporters who were thrilled by the win, there were murmurs among those who had bet on Zane or Viator to claim the title. Conversations sparked immediately, debating the merits of the win and dissecting the judges' scoring. The reactions among the competitors were also mixed. While sportsmanship was generally displayed and many congratulated Dickerson on his win, there were subtle expressions of surprise and even disappointment on the faces of some. Frank Zane, out of the gentleman, congratulated Dickerson graciously, although it was evident that he had expected a different outcome. Tom Platts, Casey Viator, and Sam Urbanout showed mixed emotions, appreciation for Dickerson's physique and performance, tinged with the inevitable disappointment of falling short. Social commentary angles were not to be missed either. Dickerson's win was also a cultural milestone. As one of the very few African-American competitors and an openly gay man, his victory broke barriers and invited discussions on diversity and representation in the sport. The element of surprise in Dickerson's win, coupled with the different lenses through which it could be analyzed, athletic, aesthetic, cultural, made it one of the most talked about events in the bodybuilding world for years to come. The controversy may have cast a shadow, but it also cast a spotlight ensuring that the 1982 Mr. Olympia and Chris Dickerson's role in it would not be easily forgotten. That's a wrap on Chris Dickerson's groundbreaking 1982 Mr. Olympia win. From the fierce competition to the aftermath, this was an unforgettable moment in bodybuilding history. What are your thoughts? Was this win deserved? Comment below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and keep lifting.